While playing Fortnite Season OG, you may have experienced a game crash like this one, or even an out of memory message. Well if so, you're not alone as loads of people get these sort of crash reports on the daily as you can see on screen. So I thought I'd make a quick video explaining how to fix them officially, as we'll be using 8 methods that Epic Games have actually put out there themselves. So by the end of watching this video, your game shouldn't crash ever again. Starting off for Fortnite said on Twitter that some players on PC may receive a message stating that they are out of video memory. If you experience this, they recommend that you update your graphics drivers to resolve the issue. And the easiest method to do this is to simply open up your GPU software that allows you to update your graphics card. So for me, I'm using Nvidia, so I'm going to open up the GeForce Experience app. Inside here, they recommend you go over to drivers and then make sure that you've got the latest driver downloaded. You can see there's one that's literally just came out yesterday which is the GeForce Game Ready Driver for NVIDIA and something very similar for AMD should be laying around that's pretty much up to date. What they want you to do is go ahead and download it then install it. As what these video drivers updates can do is fix bugs and improve performance and they highly recommend that you install the latest driver for your video card to get the best player experience and again further reduce any sort of crashes. The next thing they recommend is you find your EpicGamesLauncher.exe application shortcut Mine is found in this configuration right here, yours might be different, but once you've found it, if you actually copy it and paste it onto your desktop, like I've got mine right here, and actually right click it and then click run as administrator, Epic Games claims that running the Epic Games Launcher as administrator may help since it bypasses the user access control which prevents certain actions from taking place on your computer, which can further prevent any Fortnite crashes. Next, they recommend that you open up your Windows settings, go into the search bar and type in background apps like so and then select that one and then inside here you can see that Windows actually lets apps run in the background by default and a lot of these apps right here that are enabled by default can interfere with your game and be responsible for those game crashes. And you can see a lot of these are actually useless and they don't need to be turned on in the background. So what we're gonna do is either manually uncheck any that you really don't want running in the background or you think might be responsible for the game crashes or what you can do, which most people will do, is just go ahead and turn absolutely all of them off. If you want any of them open, you can just open them. You don't need them running in the background while you play the game. You can see that Epic Games claim that background applications can cause issues or reduce performance when you try to play the game. So make sure any are disabled. The next thing they recommend is going into Google and typing in the following search. Then you'll see we've got the latest ones right here on the Microsoft.com website. And on this, you basically want to make sure that the latest ones are downloaded and installed on your PC, which if you scroll down slightly, you can can see that the links are right here. Once you've got them downloaded, if you just open them up, it will then either say that the setup is successful or it'll ask you if you want to repair. If that comes up, just click repair and then it'll ask you to restart your PC. You can see here that they recommend that you repair both of these and they actually state that you need to download both the x64 and 86 versions. And then once you've repaired both of them or installed them, you can restart your PC and then relaunch the game and that should in turn fix any Fortnite crashes. Another thing they recommend doing is opening up the Epic Games Launcher, heading over to Library, then where you see Fortnite, clicking on the three horizontal dots, then clicking on Manage, and under the Installation, if you click on the Open Install Location, inside the Fortnite Game Folder, then under Binaries, then Win64, if you scroll down to you find the client itself, that's the Fortnite client, win 64 exe and right click on it and click on the Properties one. Inside the Compatibility tab, you can try selecting the Compatibility Mode, click run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. And then in addition to that, they recommend that you tick the disable full screen optimizations then click apply and OK. And you can see here for proof, adjust compatibility, navigate through the directory like I just showed you. It says make sure the Windows 8 is selected, disable full screen optimizations, click apply, OK, and then relaunch the game. And that should fix your crashes. Next, you want to verify that your system meets the requirements to run the game in itself. As to get the best experience, your computer should meet the minimum requirements to run it. And if we click on this article, and you can see here that the minimum system requirements are the following. 
Allen video, you want to have an Intel HD 4000 or AMD Radeon Vega 8, as well as the i3-3225 CPU, along with 8GB of RAM at the minimum, as well as have a operating system of at least Windows 10 or Mac OS. But those right there are just the minimum. They actually recommend that you have the following graphics card, which is the NVIDIA GTX 960 or above, with the AMD R9 280 or above, or an equivalent DirectX 11 GPU. They also recommend that your video card memory is 2GB of VRAM, processor be the i5-7300U equivalent or above, with the AMD Ryzen 3 300 equivalent or above. Your memory or RAM should be 16GB or above. They recommend that your hard drive is a SSD if it can be, and the operating system be Windows 10 or Windows 11 at 64-bit. And for the final few things, you want to go back into the Epic Games Launcher again, you want to click in Library, click on the three horizontal dots, click on Manage, make sure that your game files are all verified via clicking the Verify button. It shouldn't take too long at all, it does it pretty quick, and this will make sure you've got the latest up-to-date files and they're all verified and all good to go. And once you've verified your game files, if you go back into the Options, then click on Manage, inside here, under the Launch Options, they recommend adding an additional command, which is dash D3D11, and what this will do is it'll put your game into DirectX 11. In Epic Games state that if you use DirectX 11, this may fix some issues that you are having playing Fortnite, which obviously is referring to the crashes in themselves. However, if you do want to switch back to DirectX 12, you need to go back in there and delete this command right here. A bonus thing you can do is to go into the library, click on the three horizontal dots, go on to manage, and then under where it says installation, if you click on this little install folder, it'll take you here where you want to select Fortnite game. You then want to go into binaries, then Win64, then you want to go ahead and open up the easy anti-cheat setup.exe. If it doesn't open initially, you can try running it as administrator and if that still doesn't open you can back out and go underneath it this one right here and then you should just be able to open this one like normal and as you can see it's fully worked now what you want to do here is try to repair this service and that could potentially fix your game crashes and other issues you can see it doesn't take long at all once it's installed successfully click finish but all in all those have been eight methods from epic games themselves that should fix fortnite crashes and technical issues if they did help out feel free to drop a like on the video drop a sub on the channel and feel free to use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton. Also, while you're at it, feel free to check out these other two helpful videos on screen right now.